Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. We will be going over the last job of why for our lesson today. And I will be playing the part of a student. My name is Chloe. I am an implementation coach with Reading Horizons. And um, if this is your first time joining us, you do not have to jump in right here. The lessons do go in order. So make sure you've done all of the preceding lessons before you get to this lesson. Uh, maybe jump in where you left off with your class in school. Um, but we will be going over the last job of why, which is Reading Horizons Discovery Lesson 64, Reading Horizons Elevate Lesson 60. I'll be Chloe, your student, and here is our teacher, Erica. Thanks, Chloe. Hi, friends. We're glad that you're with us today. Before we begin our lesson, there are a few supplies that you're going to need. I'm going to use a marker, a dry erase marker and a whiteboard, but you may not have those at your house. So this is your opportunity to be creative paper, pencil, marker, crayons, even if you have a plastic plate and a dry erase marker, that would work. Um, you can use socks, tissues, a paper towel, those make good erasers as well. I'm going to give you just a few seconds to grab those supplies if you haven't already, as well as remind you, if you did that practice page for homework from the last Schwa lesson with teacher Chloe, if you'll retrieve that, we'll go over the answers um, when you get back. going to go ahead and put this on your screen for you while you're gathering your supplies. If you have time and want to compare your answers, that's fabulous. But if you don't have time to check them all, you can use a cell phone and maybe snap a quick picture and go back and look at those after we finish our lesson today. Okay, now it is time for the review part of our lesson. And to do that, I'm going to share with you um, just a review of a few activities with the schwa. And we will do that now. Now that you have completed the lesson, let's now that you have completed the lesson, let's practice what you learned with some activities. Click on one of the boxes to begin. Okay, we're going to we're going to use box two for this activity and as the words are given if you will repeat those aloud at home with student chloe and then if you would give me a signal by either one or two on your fingers for the syllable that you hear the schwa in okay let's try this chloe will you demonstrate for us for the first one yes these words have boxes around each syllable click on the syllable box that contains the schwa sound Delete. Delete. Duh. Duh is in the, is the schwa is in the first syllable. Great job. I love how you repeated the word and then you identified the syllable that contained the schwa and showed me the finger. I'm going to select that. Bravo! Now let's try Bravo! everyone participate. Symbol. Okay, everybody at home be figuring this out too. So I'll play the student, but you be thinking at home. Symbol. Which of those syllables has the schwa? Symbol. It's in the second syllable. Nice Great job. work. Let's go to the next one. Alone. Alone. First syllable. Nice work. Divide. 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 Duh. In the first syllable. Nice work. Bacon. Bacon. Con in the second syllable. Awesome. Open. Open. That's in the second syllable. Way to go. Student. Student. Student in the second syllable. Fantastic! Equal. Equal. Equal in the second syllable. Terrific! Great job, Chloe. Now let's continue with the instruction part of our lesson. Remember, when we do the instruction part, you're not going to need any materials. This is your opportunity to just sit and listen 
and um, take in and watch the new skill that, that's being learned, okay? Okay. To start this, I want to talk to you. Um, we already know that Y has many jobs. We've learned that Y borrows the sound of short I as well as long I. In this lesson, you're going to learn that Y also borrows the sound of long E when it is in a word with more than one syllable. So the last rule for Y is when Y comes at the end of a word and another working vowel comes before it, then it's usually going to have the sound of long E. That sound good? Gotcha. Let me show you. If we were marking this word first, marking left to right underneath the word, the first thing I'm going to come to is the vowel A. Now, Chloe, can you help me with this? Is there another working vowel in this word? Yes, Y. There is, very good, it's the Y. And how do you know that it's a working vowel. Ah, everybody be thinking at home. I knew this was a working vowel because Y is only a consonant when it's the first letter in the word or syllable. So since it's the last letter, it's definitely going to be a vowel. It's a working vowel. Very good, that's right. It's definitely a working vowel. So we're going to mark it. Now we have two working vowels. And if you'll remember, decoding skill one says, we're going to go back between our two working vowels and we have one unit here and one will run run and join the next syllable that's right so we're going to put our division mark between the a and the d and box in that first syllable now looking at the first syllable which phonetic skill does it follow that's if phonetic. we come up in a oh i'm sorry I, I didn't let me finish if i come up and around this word and we're looking at this letter a which phonetic skill does it follow? So that's phonetic skill number three, uh, because the vowel that's stands right. alone. Because the vowel stands alone, proving that it is long. long. Very good. Now, the last job of Y tells us that Y will have the sound of long E if it comes at the end of a word. And there's another working vowel before it. So we have our Y. Do we see another working vowel before it? We do, we have that A. So we will put a small E in the neck of the Y. We know following our phonetic skills, it's going to be long. The first syllable says lay. The second syllable says D. Our word is lady, lady. Okay, let's try another one together. This time, working left to right underneath the word, we're going to mark the first vowel. Now we come to the Y. Hmm, is there a vowel working before it? There he is. So we're going to mark it. Correct? Yeah. Now let's go back between our two working vowels. We have one consonant, one will run. Our division mark will be between our A and our B going up and proving that first syllable around the top of the A. We know that A will be long, thanks to phonetic skill number three. Let's move to our second syllable. We have a Y at the end with a vowel working before it. We know it's going to take the sound of E. Phonetic skill three, proving it's long. We're going to box that in. Our first syllable is they. Our second syllable is B. The word is Baby. Baby. Baby, good job. Okay, now we've talked about, sorry, extra click there. We've talked about the last rule for Y, and that's making that long E sound. But there's another pattern that I want to talk to you about real quick, okay? And that's called the NFL rule. And what that is, is anytime we have, like the word baby, we have that vowel we have two working vowels and the end is an e we know excuse me that any time an n f or l those consonants precede they come right before that y the y is not going to take the long e sound okay so how am i going to remember that well there's one more important thing it must be a verb so not only are we looking for the letters n f l the word must be a verb now, what can I do to make this a little bit easier for me to remember? I can think of football, the acronym NFL for football. 
yeah, that's right. And when I think of football, I think of tackling and running and all these action words. And a verb is an action word. So that helps me remember any time I see a word that ends with a Y that has another vowel working before it, and it also has the NFL before it, and it's a verb, it's going to take another sound, and that's the long I. And I know that sounds like a lot, but if you just think about the NFL, that's going to help you. Let's practice that. Working with this first word, left to right, underneath. What do you think I would mark first, Chloe? Can you help me with that? First, we mark the vowel E. We're going to work the, mark the vowel E, correct. And our next marking would be? An X under the vowel Y. An X under the vowel Y. Great. Same thing we did in the last two slides. Go between our two working vowels. Here we have the E and the Y. We see that there is... Which, what kind of letter here? There's only one, right? One consonant. So it's going to run. Here's our division, right? Let's prove that first syllable. Come around on top. We know that that E is going to be long. Long. Thanks to phonetic skill number three. Three. Great job. Now, we have another working vowel, the Y. We know that it isn't going to be silent because it isn't another working vowel before it. Yes. It does. Now, which consonant comes before that Y? N. The letter N. Since the answer is one of the letters N, F, L, we have to ask one more question. Do we remember which one it is? Is it a verb? Running. <laughs> is it a, is verb? it a verb? That's right. Is deny a verb? Yes. Chloe? Yes, it is. So in that case, we're going to put an I in the neck of the Y. Following phonetic skill three, it is long. The first syllable is D. The second syllable is NI. The word is deny. Say it with me. D deny. 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 Good. Let's try one more. How about we use that in a sentence? I cannot deny that Chloe is a smart student. <laughs> Let's try one more. Working left to right, we will mark our first vowel, our second vowel, we'll come between the two and we notice there's one consonant. So our division mark is between the E and the F. Proving our first syllable, the E is long, phonetic skill three. Coming to our second syllable, the letter before our Y is, is it one of our N, F, L? It sure mm -hmm. is. So we know the Y is going to take the sound of long I. We will box in this syllable. The second syllable is Phi. The first syllable is D. Let's read this word together. D, D Phi. Phi. D, D Phi. Very good. If you defy the law, you may find yourself in prison. <laughs> Send us in the book. Okay, are you ready for the next part of our lesson? Guided practice and dictation. So at this time, you're gonna need to grab your materials that you, that you went and searched for earlier. We will play the eraser game at the end, so just a reminder, don't erase anything until it's time. And if you did not have a dry erase pen or marker, that's okay. Just remember you can write those on a piece of paper and use a crayon or a pencil marker and mark those out as we use them when the eraser game starts. Okay, Chloe. Are you ready for dictation? Okay, the first one, we're gonna do it together. The, the, uh, the word is B-O-N-Y, B-O-N-Y. B-O-N-Y, B-O-N-Y. I'm going to write mine on my board as you're writing yours, and you can use that to check. Later on, this first one, let's do it together though. Okay, working left to right, we're gonna mark the vowel O. 
vowel I come to is the vowel Y. You know it's acting as a vowel because it's not the first letter and it's also, um, it's not the first letter, sorry. Okay, let's go back to the first, first working vowel. What comes between the two working vowels? We have one consonant. One is going to run and join the second syllable. So I'm going to put my line between the O and the N, box in the first syllable, come around on top. We know that the O is proven to be long, thanks to decoding or phonetic skill three. Now let's go to the second syllable. We know that, um, let's look at this because we have an N here. We talked about NFL, but let's talk about the word bony. Is bony a verb, Chloe? No. Is, is bony an action? No, it is not. So we know right now exactly we're not going to use that long I. What letter are we going to put here? E. We're going to put the E, the long E. Very good. So you're going to put your E down. We're going to box in that last syllable. We're going to prove that to be long. We have the, um, let's read each syllable, bone, E, and let's read it together. Bony. 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 And show me your, you can hold yours up if you, great job. Great job. Okay, let's go to the next one. This one's just going to be you. I'm going to take my time to write it on my board, and then as you finish, you can compare the answers, okay? Okay. The next one, I'm just going to use my fingers to spell this one, all right? Okay. T. I D Y T I D Y T I D Y T I D Y Okay, very good. good. My board. And tidy means neat or in order. And this is probably something you hear a lot. Okay, working left to right, you're marking your vowels. You're looking at each syllable now, proving each syllable. Okay, look at mine. You should be finished. Does yours look like this? Great job. Okay, let's read this. And the word is tidy. 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 Very good. And you heard me slip earlier and share that with you. It means neat or clean. So something you may hear a lot at home is, is your room tidy? Or you need to go and clean your room so it will be tidy. Okay, the next word. This time, this word, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a clue. It has a rainbow S, it has a rainbow S. So we're gonna write our word first and then think about that as you're proving it, okay? S-E-I-C-Y, S, P I C Y S P I C Y S P I C Y Right, there are five letters in this word, friends. Okay, I'm going to write mine on the board. Working left to right, not forgetting that first SP blend. When I go back and look at the two together, I notice that the C is going, there's only one guardian, it's going to, or one, excuse me, one constant is going to run. My I is long, phonetic skill three. And let's see yours at home. Can we see those? Great job, and I see that rainbow S. Good, you caught that with the C and the long E at the end. Okay, let's go to a next. Let's go to the next one. Oh, let's go back and read our word first. Our word is spicy. 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 Um, that means flavored or fragrant with some kind of spice. So the salsa is spicy. It means hot. Okay. The next word. Are you ready? Yes. S H I N Y. 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 
Everybody at home. Also five letters. Oops, sorry. I was just going to remind our students at home, make sure you guys are doing this too. Super important that you practice saying and repeating. That's right. Very good. I'm going to write mine up on the board, let you compare. Good, Chloe. I noticed you didn't miss the first blend. Great job. Moving left to right, I'm going to mark my SH blend. The vowel I, the vowel Y. Okay, make sure you're comparing yours at home. And if you did make a state, or make a mistake, are you going back and looking at that to try and find out what exactly, which step you, you, didn't, uh, you did wrong to correct that? Good job. Okay, let's do the next one. This one is a nonsense word. So it's going to begin with an asterisk. F-O-P-Y, F-O-P-Y. F-O-P-Y. F O P Y. Got it. Good job. And as a reminder, this is a nonsense word, and we're going to begin it with an asterisk. Good job. I'm going to write mine on the board now. Compare yours at home. We're not going to use this in a sentence to give a definition because it isn't a real word. I'm going to read each syllable and then we'll read it, put them together. Good, good. Does yours look like this? Does yours look like mine? Okay, the first syllable is so. so. Second syllable is P. E. Faux P. Faux P. Okay, one more nonsense word. C R A D Y. 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 Okay. Okay, students, I'm going to write mine on the board if you'll compare your answers. Another blend. Does yours look like mine? Yep. Great job. Let's read each syllable together. Cray D. D. Cray D. Cray D. Cray -D. Cray -D. Cray -D. Very good. Okay, we have two more to practice. I want to kind of give you a little heads up on these two. These are going to follow our NFL rule. So okay. remember that when you're proving. Remember, it must the NFL before the Y, and it has to be a verb, and then it's going to take which sound? The sound of I instead of E. Okay. Very good. Okay. The first one, I'm going to do it with you on my board. R E L Y. R E L Y. R E L Y. R E L Y. And this is a real word. Okay, let's mark this together, friends. Moving left to right, the first vowel is our E. Next marking would be the vowel Y. 
we're, excuse me, the Y working as a vowel, okay? Back between the first two, we're gonna divide between the E and the L because we only have one consonant and one's going to run. Our E is proven to be long, phonetic skill three. Moving to the second syllable, we have an L before. We're going to put the I in the neck of the Y, followed by the long mark. We're going to box this in. Reading each syllable, re, re, lie. Li. Re, re lie. Li. Re lie means you can depend on something, um, get support from someone. You can always rely on your teachers. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna give you one to do on your own. All okay. right, you ready? Yes. It's gonna sound a lot like the word we just did together, but there's something a little extra. So there's a clue, okay? R E P L Y. 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 I'm gonna give you just a second longer and then I'm gonna write mine on my board. Does yours look like this, Rian? Mine does. Great job. I love that you saw that PL blend. You didn't let that confuse you. Good job. Let's read this word together. Re Reply. 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 And that means to respond or to answer. His reply to the question was very fast. Great job with your dictation. And now, friends, will be the last part of our lesson. No, hold on just a second. I'm getting ahead of myself. You can't forget the eraser game. Oh, you're supposed to yell at me like all the <laughs> students do in the classroom. I know. Oh. Anytime I would do that in class, the students would freak out. Let's make sure we play eraser game, teacher. That's right. They love the eraser game. I do too. It's one of my favorites. Okay, here we go with the eraser game. Remember, first thing we're going to do is point to. Okay? We're going to point to the word. We're going to point to the word that has the long O in the first syllable. The real word that has the long O in the first syllable. Okay, good. Point to it. What word is that? Bony. Bony. That's right. Read it twice and erase it. Bony. Bony. Okay, the next one, let's point to the nonsense word that has the long A in the first syllable. Okay, what word is, what nonsense word is that, friends? Crady, crady. Great, and you may erase it. Forget, if you're at home and playing this with us, it's so important to read these out loud. Okay, next. We know that synonym means the same, right, Chloe? So anonym means the opposite. So what, find a word on your board that means the opposite of messy. Messy, strong. What is the opposite? Okay, point to that, what word is that? Tidy, tidy. Very good. I can't get that for you, but here's the result. Okay. So on the next one, point to the word that has the rainbow S. Okay, what word is that? Spicy, spicy. Very good, erase that. I may need something to drink, if I eat something spicy, okay? The next one, 
point to the word. When someone asks you a question, they expect you to do what? Say that one. Reply, That's right. They, they expect you reply. to reply. <laughs> Good job. Erase that. Okay, this next word. Point to the word. I'm going to have to put my sunglasses on because his shoes are so <laughs> shiny, shiny. Great job, shiny. Erase that with me, friend. Point to the last nonsense word on your board. Read it two times and erase it. Fopey, fopey. Very good. Okay, and you have one real word left. Will you read it, please? Rely, rely. Great job. And who can you always rely on, Chloe? I can always rely on my teacher, Erica. Got it. Okay, for the last part of our lesson, let's switch to the transfer. Don't forget, you are reading these at home along with student Chloe. And I'm gonna point as you're reading, Chloe. Are you ready? Let's I, start with this second line, Chloe. Okay, just for time, for time's sake, is that all right with you? Okay, I was also going to mention okay. that in the chat, you guys will see a link to more transfer cards. So you can do more practice at home. Um, also, those student transfer cards will be available if you're watching the recording. You can always pause it and read as many times as you need to, or you can get those links from right underneath the recording. That's right, and your, your practice page that we're gonna give you in just a minute, it's also located in the same spot. Thanks for reminding us, Chloe. Okay, are we ready to begin? Ready. Second line, here we go. Baby, lady, phony, spicy, flaky, juicy, hazy, bony, puny, fruity, navy, shiny, wavy. Yes? Okay, stop just a second. Let me let me prepare you for the last two. The last two are both verbs. Did that help? Was that a good clue? That's a hint. I'm going to remember my NFL rule. NFL. Yes. Here we go. Deny. Rely. Deny. Great job. And we're just going to read the first sentence here. And I'm going to place the highlighter here or the laser pointer where I'd like you to kind of pause in this sentence, the natural pause. So that helps us read more fluently. So let's try this. Chloe, can you, can you show us how this looks, please? Hazel wants to be in the Navy. Great job. Let's go one more time, okay? Okay. Hazel wants to be in the Navy. Great job. Don't forget at home, you can pause these and practice the last two as well. And friends, your, the lesson does not have to stop there with your phonics. Here is the practice page that goes along with this lesson. You're welcome to take a picture of it right on your own paper. If you have a printer at home, download the link and print it. We will go over these answers tomorrow at the beginning of our lesson. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you have any additional questions, Here's the 800 number, write it down, take a picture of it, call and speak to one of our representatives and we'll be happy to help explain um, any further questions that you have. Thanks so much friends, we'll see you tomorrow for our next lesson. Thank you for joining us, bye-bye.